Welcome back. You're watching the Gadgets and Gizmo show with me, Siddharth Sharma. Now, there's one category of tablets that doesn't get much attention from consumers as well as entrepreneurs. Yes, we are talking about the enterprise tablet segment. And next up, Sahil Maniktala gets you an entire lowdown on that. Now, who amongst us hasn't fantasized about owning an iPad or a Samsung Galaxy Tab? I know I certainly have, but being a young and somewhat low-paid employee is not really an affordable option for me. And it might not even be an affordable option for many of you out there. But what if I told you that there was a budget-friendly answer out there? And what if I told you that answer came in the form of an enterprise tablet? Tablets come in all manners of profiles and on a variety of platforms. And now there seems to be a growing market for enterprise tablets. Which are specifically aimed at corporate employees and budding entrepreneurs. But there is a big difference between your highly popular consumer tablets and work theme tablets. And that difference really boils down to specifications. Enterprise tablets are basically toned down versions of your high-end tablets and tend to have lower CPUs clocked anywhere between 1.2 to 1.6 GHz and also won't offer the largest amount of RAM. These tablets are definitely not powerhouses when it comes to computing, but they are flexible and have been specifically tailored to the needs of the corporate workforce. Now keeping with the theme of enterprise tablets, let me introduce you guys to the all-new Lava Ivory S which Lava claims is the perfect budget option for all you working professionals out there. But before we find out whether that is actually the case or not, let's take a look at its specifications. Lava's latest tablet offering, the Ivory S, has a 7-inch TFT LCD display with a less than HD 1024 by 600 pixel resolution. It runs Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean out of the box and under the hood lies a 1.3 GHz dual-core MediaTek processor accompanied by 1 GB RAM and a Mali 400 GPU. The tablet comes with dual SIM functionality which enables 3G voice and video calling. Furthermore, the Lava Ivory S sports a 3.2 megapixel rear camera with LED flash and a VGA front facing camera. It also has 4GB onboard storage which can be expanded to 32GB via a micro SD card. The tablet is powered by a 2800 mAh battery which delivers approximately 8 hours of talk time and 200 hours of standby time. Now the main feature of the Lava Ivory S is its 3G voice and video calling feature, which automatically pushes it into that niche segment of calling tablets. So basically this tablet is perfect for those people who want to make those all important business related video conferences or even those day to day phone calls. The Lava Ivory S even comes preloaded with Office Suite app, so now you can create your own Word documents, prepare spreadsheets and even make PowerPoint presentations on the go. And this is what enterprise tablets are supposed to do. More on work and productivity and less on entertainment. The reason why they cut corners when it comes to their processing power. At a price tag of 8,499 rupees, the Lava Ivory S is a well-balanced economical tablet aimed at those working professionals who don't want to spend large amounts of cash on a tablet. Although I did feel that a full HD display and a better battery backup would have truly made the Lava Ivory S an amazing enterprise tablet. Now BlackBerry as a company has been in the doldrums for these past three odd years. And now to save the company's pride, they've come out with the BlackBerry Z3. And up next on the show, we get you a review on this new smartphone. BlackBerry over the last three years has been in a hapless shape. In 2013, BlackBerry 10 based smartphones were supposed to save the company. But let's get to the point. They just bombed. Now, to save their pride, they have come out with the Z3. At Rs 15,999, it's by no means an expensive phone. And it is far more refined than the Z10. The BlackBerry Z3 is a rectangular block that looks pleasing. The negative aspect though is the size and the bulk that the phone has. At 164 grams, this puts it on the heavier side of things.
talking about the display, the Z3 has a 5 inch IPS display with a rather uninspiring QHD or 960 by 540 resolution display. In this day and age of Full HD and QHD displays, this just does not cut it. The display retains decent viewing angles and serviceable legibility under direct sunlight. The colour fidelity of the panel is not first class. BlackBerry Z3 packs in a 5 megapixel camera which is supported by a LED flash. Up front it has a 1.1 megapixel camera for selfies. The primary camera takes grainy images in dimly lit situations and washed out photos in brightly lit situations. The photos lag in terms of details and are often loaded with chunks of noise. BlackBerry Z3 is capable of shooting 720p videos as well. BlackBerry is the master of email. BB10 retains the tag of being a quintessential businessman's OS. Email is not only super slick and fast, but the hub functionality is intelligently baked in. BlackBerry for the first time offers its own Maps app. The Z3 is designed for emerging markets, so BlackBerry took a call to skim on the specs and loaded the Z3 with a dual-core variant of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 CPU clocked at 1.2 GHz tied in with 1.5 GB of RAM. Basic tasks feel pretty fluid even with this mere processing package. Under the hood, the BlackBerry Z3 has a massive 2500 mAh battery. This easily lasts you a day and it won't disappoint you in the battery department. The thing about BlackBerry Z3 is that it's slightly overpriced at Rs 15,999 as compared to its competitors. But BlackBerry Z3 appeals to a very niche user, like a businessman who uses emails and makes phone calls. For such a person, the Z3 is perhaps the ultimate secondary phone, if not a great primary phone. And with that, it's time for us to say goodbye on this edition of Gadgets and Gizmo Show. If you have any comments, queries or suggestions, tweet us at HLT Gizmos. You can also email us on htgg at arjtak.com. We'll see you same time, same place next week. But for all the news and updates, keep watching Headlines Today. Brought to you by Ansar University, spanning decades in education.